nothing. Nothing. This is the Gary Junction slash Kinto Road. This way stunning views though. Look at that mountain range. Day two now of Gary Junction Road. Expedition. Yep. Day two slash day three because in true Dianade fashion we missed the turn off for the first our first night. Overnight stop at uh, Mount Liebig Spoor and the Glen Beetle Market. We somehow missed them both and then just couldn't find it we and had to drive the on. We saw the, the pointer to the ball, but in fairness. Oh, and our, there was someone. Our, it was lizard. It ball. was a house. It was lizard ball. Lizard no. ball, and there and was a house. There. Someone lived there, so yeah. we thought that's not a place to camp. We can't camp in their garden. No. And to be fair, our permits did say no camping. Don't, no, no, not, allowed. not the permits. The oh, the Hema, Hema maps, book. Hema maps book. said no said camping. No camping between until you get to past Kintor. Kintor. So, so we well, we pressed on and we camped at night two, where we were going to camp at night two, which was Buck Hills, and we got in there probably about five-ish, so yeah, it was fairly late, bit, it was a big a day, late. it was a, a big, late big driving was day, it was about 450 kilometres, so, uh, on along corrugated roads, but yep. I, I reckon the road though, considering we're in the middle of Australia, absolutely the middle of nowhere, absolutely yeah. the very middle, the road's better than I was expecting it to be, <laughs> yep, bless you, let's fly up when I go, our little camp spot for the night, our second night, on Gary Junction Road, which should actually be our third night. And there's us all on our little lonesome in this cute little campsite with a little water well. We've already filled up our water. The aid's now just photographing it. Here we are at uh, well, Jupiter Well, and as the sun sets, we're looking at there's no one else around except for the one time when I was naked having a what I described as a pommy bar. That's when full drive drove uh, past. Didn't arrive, but drove past. That's about right. Again. Week seven. Week seven, and we've uh, completed the Gary Junction Road, um, made it into Carawan Gorge, then Marble, Ga Marble Bar. Um, we smashed by some howling winds in uh, Carawan Gorge. Yes. So a big front came through as we were leaving Punmu um, in the morning and drove from Punmu to Carawan Gorge, and yeah, it just did not stop blowing a gale for two days. So. Um, it was a bit of fun and it was yeah. pretty overcast. So that we... was not fun. I did not. I, I think we've discussed before. I do not like the Doesn't wind. wind. Yep. Uh, and so you also can't awesome. make any power for your batteries when it's completely overcast. Uh, as in so overcast you couldn't even see which direction the sun 
was coming from. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. anyway, Gary Junction Road. Let's talk about the Gary Junction Road because that uh, was something I was a little bit nervous about. It was a yep. uh, AIDS decision to cross right through the middle of Australia because why wouldn't you? Uh, well, we had to get from Alice Springs to effectively Exmouth um, yeah. to swim with whale sharks. So that we're on our way to Exmouth. Um, and so you can either go um, Tanami, which takes you too, far too far north, um, or uh, the Great Central Highway, which takes you way too far south. So we um, picked a road that no one has ever heard of, yeah. and we know that no one's ever heard of it because we kept asking everyone along the way, do you happen to be driving the Gary Junction no, Road? Do you, where are you going? Do you oh, want to go with the us? WA. Yeah, do, how about the Gary Junction Road? And no one's going, we've never heard of it. What's that? Where's, yeah. where's that? Anyway, we got our we got our permits. You have to get your permits again yep. to uh, enter side. into the One Aboriginal for... settlements that you go into, um, the commu local communities where you get your petrol. Um, and we set off the road. I have to say the road wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was, it was going bumpy to be. And corrugated. But it was it very was, bumpy, you know, very really bumpy and corrugated. Very bumpy and corrugated. Our light bar, very dry. Light bar came off dusty. the front of the van, and that's now cable tied onto the bull bar. Um, so we lost various screws and bolts and nuts and things, and a shelf collapsed, and you know all, all normal things when you bounce along on corrugations for four straight days. Um, yeah. And we got a lot of dust inside the van. It, yes. it dust absolutely everywhere and we kept every time we stopped we would brush it all out but then you would take off again and Losing. just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. our dashboard dashboard was covered in dust at the oh, end of every yeah. day um inside but, the cupboards and, yeah. but it was really interesting i think to see a part of australia yeah. that we've never seen and it's an australia that's so different yeah. i think to what we know at home to melbourne and to the capital cities and Really, all along the edge of Australia, yep. it's it's very different, and some of the views along the way were well, absolutely stunning. Scenery. When yeah, you come past Hus Bluff as you come out of the West Macdonald Ranges, yeah. uh, it was just absolutely stunning. And the colours again, we we were lucky enough to see a lot of wildflowers out, and so and in some parts a lot of greenery. And our first night stay, which our first night stay was actually meant to be um, Len Beetle Marker. Um, which we couldn't find. Which we couldn't find um, for some reason. It was, and then, and it was right near a um, a, a boar, um, and then which we found the we found a boar, we found a lizard boar, which was apparently right next to land beetle marker as well. But we went into lizard boar, and there was like three, two or three houses there, and people living there. And we didn't. Think they were we looking at you as if to say, land. "What are you I doing? I don't think you can camp here. Uh, what are you <laughs> even doing? Who are you people? Um, so we drove on to our second night stop. Um, that, which made that a massive day, that yeah. first day. Bucks Hill. Um, Bucks Hill. And then we got in. Which was a beautiful spot. Which was stop, a stunning but spot. But we got into really too late. It was, it's always, we've I was worked a out, freaked out on my, our first night. Yeah, well, I think we've worked out that it's really nice to get in at sort of, you know, 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, unwind, relax, get set up, put chairs out, watch the sun, you know, just watch the afternoon sun start to move over and, and just, just absorb yourself in the place. And I think we can get to do that. So... As much as um, Bucks Hill was a really stunning s stop, um, and I'd recommend it if you're ever going past, not that anyone's If you're ever really going to, you know, get, happen to be past, on the Gary Junction Road. Um, <laughs> Bucks Hill's stunning, but we probably didn't get quite as much out of it as we should have. Uh, our next drive on to Jupiter Well, Jupiter's Well was nice. Um, that was really nice. I felt that had a really nice feel about it, Jupiter as well. There were signs there from the local community Welcome welcoming to you. As well. and, there was, and there was a well, so there, there was, was water. a well, so there was fresh um, water, and there was a pit toilet with a fl funny flyby screen on it, yeah. so you could look out onto it's the really kind of just land. A big half a forty-four gallon drum with a hole. Yeah, in it, so it wasn't a good. pleasant no, toilet, no. but at least it was a toilet. Yeah, yeah um, so that was a really nice stop. Yeah, and then the um, and then we got to. Kind of go on the canning stock route, which really yep. we weren't. I don't think we we're actually on. Well, we can't wait. No, we can't. I think we crossed it, but there's a part that says you're on it. I think there's this, there's this sort of circular area where you're on no real at road. No Junction. one really knows at Gary Junction, and you kind of you bit on the canning stock route. You bit on the Gary Junction road. Gary Junction road's kind of ended. You're heading toward I don't know another road. And all the roads change from Gary Junction. They change names all the time, and yep. it's hard to keep track. But you just keep driving. You're on a dirt, dusty road that's sometimes sand, sometimes corrugations, um, and you bounce your way along. 
So it was good. Kind of what Richie was, I found, so you, you, you go into a number of little Aboriginal communities to stop for fuel and to go into yeah. the local store. They're all closed between 12 and 1, 12 and right 1 when we wanted seems to, to have lunch. Right when, by the right time you pack up and leave, it seems to be about your two hour, two and a half hour stop. Um, so yeah, we always seem to time it so we got there when these but, general stores and that were shut. But Kanawarichi opened up for, for us. He yep. finished his finished his lunch and then came out and opened up. And that I, I felt that was a really lovely little kind of a little little town. It, again, it felt a bit more inviting than some of the others, and it was just um, a bit tidier. And there were no there's a lot of stray dogs in a lot of the towns, mm. and there weren't yep. so many. There weren't really any in this town, and they came and chatted. Yeah, everyone was really, it was really told friendly. Told us about and warm, that we could have camped there. And, if I did yeah. it again, I reckon I'd, I'd camp at Kanawarichi. But then you'd still, but have then you to still got to stop at Camp stop Punmu, at Punmu at the um, end. which we met some awesome people at Punmu. But Punmu is no, it's not the it's nicest not a, location. Um, but and we met some great people. Three dollars diesel was a bit much. Ooh, three dollars a litre. Three dollars a litre for yeah. diesel. That was a lot. Definitely, if you brought your diesel with you. And you're getting towards the Punmu and you think, oh, we're going to make it right through in now. Then just top up the rest of your car with all the diesel you've bought because, yeah, $3 a litre. Yeah. Uh, now, why are we doing this in the van today, babe? It is pouring with rain outside. So we're, we're just, just outside, outside Karajini, Karajini National Park. And um, last night the heavens opened up and it is, it's been non-stop rain. So end times stuff. I'm going to... You. I'll show you quickly too. Yeah, that's me. I know. They know me. So out through there, it is, and there's our awning bulging with uh, rain. We're catching it in a bucket, which so it's actually good to do the dishes with that. So because we don't have a river here. It's a little wet and miserable today. So uh, yeah, so it is absolutely pouring with rain here today and has been all day the very nice man again us being needy and, and looking like we can't bruno figure from this out our neighbor bruno our neighbor in the van next to us came over earlier and asked us if we want to go and play cards play cards yep, in the van which, which we, we, we don't really know any card games, we don't know any card games we're we'll not card game players but go, um we'll go and otherwise we've been sitting watching a movie yep. in the in the van um yep. but that's it mm. end of week, week seven, seven. Yeah. So it was a big, a big crazy, big crazy adventure. Week. It was good. Big Glad adventure. Done it. Excellent. Glad it's um, behind us. Looking forward to getting into Karajini next week. Looking forward to some sunshine. It was yeah. sunny yesterday. It was sunny. It was sunny day yesterday. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's All it. Right. That's just done. Over now. Over now. See you next time. Yep.